Batteries and cold don't get along. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at how smartphone batteries are affected by freezing winter temperatures. I've tested three popular smartphones in temperatures as cold as minus 20 degrees Celsius to see what difference the cold makes in the performance of the batteries. So if you're someone who spends a lot of time outdoors in the winter, or if you're just curious to see what your battery performance might be in the cold, keep watching. For this experiment, I chose three phones from some of the biggest brands selling in North America. So we have Apple's iPhone 14 Pro, Samsung's S22, and Google's Pixel 7. I chose phones whose batteries had similar milliamp hours, and I used my passable math skills to make sure testing was as equal as possible. In my first test, I wanted to simulate a low battery experience. Dividing each battery's milliamp hour by 100, I tried to get a similar amount of milliamp hours left in the battery from each phone. This meant the iPhone 14 Pro would start at 16% using 512 milliamp hours, the S22 would start at 14% using 518, and the Pixel 7 at 12% using 516 milliamp hours. I played a downloaded YouTube video with screen set to maximum brightness, and here's what happened. After 5 minutes, the iPhone stayed at 16%, and the S22 and Pixel 7 would lose 1% each. At 10 minutes, it was the iPhone losing 2%, and the S22 losing 1%, and the Pixel unmoved. After 20 minutes, the iPhone was down another 2%, the S22 down 2%, and the Pixel losing 1%. After 30 minutes total, the results looked like this. The iPhone 14 Pro went from 16% down to 10%, the S22 went from 14% down to 8%, and the Pixel 7 went from 12% to 9%. This was pretty interesting. Next, I wanted to see what happened when each phone was charged up to 100%. So with all three batteries at 100%, I went for a full 30 minute deep freeze. These results weren't exactly what I was expecting. The iPhone stayed strong at 100%, the Pixel at 99%, and the S22 at 94%. The S22 is definitely a phone that prefers warmer temperatures. This also has me wondering about how the iPhone chooses to display its battery percentage. Maybe it looks something like this, where your expectation of the battery is that it goes down equally from 100 onwards, but maybe the iPhone reads more like this, where it's 100 for a large amount of time, 99 for a large amount of time. It would give you an interesting psychological confidence about your battery's strength. What are your thoughts on these results? Does information like this influence which phone you would use? Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.